Hello, I'm Jerry Ford, the Beer Review Guy. I've got a, uh, this one look, kind of looked good. This is um, a Grimbergen um, Double Ombre. I guess Amber. Um, it's a 6.5% ABV. Um, let's see. There's, there's what it looks like. I haven't looked to see who has done this. Um, yeah, it's got a Phoenix on there. I guess this is the Phoenix Grimbergen. Double Amber. I don't know if this is a, is this a Bach. Doesn't really. It says um, a, pro, a um, product of France. Um, no, it said something else somewhere. Founded in 1128, Grimbergen Abbey has stood the test of time, destroyed by, by the fire each time it has risen again from the ashes. This is the reason why the phoenix was chosen as its symbol, and Ardell Neck Cosumeter? Burned but not destroyed. Its motto. Boy, I can't hardly read this writing. Its motto. This ability to be reborn time and time again makes Grimbergen beer a beer of legend. They have the writing in just some kind of a. I don't know. If you can see that or not? Anyway, it's just hard to read. All right, well, let's see what we got here. It's kind of going to be just kind of a little bit of a... See, full-bodied amber beer with a rich mouthfeel. It offers a mix of sweet and bitter flavors with subtle notes of caramel. Full-bodied beer. Mix of sweet and bitter. Hmm. Now here's the cap. It's kind of a pretty cap. It's kind of a like a copper. Maybe. <clears throat> All right. Got a half finger of head. The head is off white. No, sorry, no. The head is kind of a, a little bit of a khaki color. Let's see. The color is a dark, bronzish, brownish type appearance. <clears throat> see, I got an aroma. Have a little bit of a sourness, a little malty. Sweet and bitter caramel notes. Not really getting a lot on the caramel. I see if this, this beer is a little older, so I don't know if that's going to mess with the... It smells slightly bitter, but there's kind of sourness in it too. Alright. Not a bad lacing going on. Let's see what we got. Ooh. Carbonation is about medium. <clears throat> the body is, it said full body. Um, oh, it's, it's medium. Not totally full body to me. 
<clears throat> has a very, very slight dryness. Yeah, there is a, there's a slight sweetness to it. Bitter. <clears throat> Yeah, I guess a little bit. I'm not really getting a sourness on the taste. <clears throat> There's a little bit of a of an oaky type, woody type taste. Um, I'm not really getting any caramel on the taste that I can tell. This being a little older, it might have messed with some of the with the flavors. It's about seven months old. <coughs> Excuse me. But you know, even if it is an older beer, um, what's important is it does it taste good, and it does. It does taste good. There is a little slight of a of a sourness now that I'm drinking a little bit more. Yeah, that little bit of a woodiness comes in too. It's a good one. I mean, it's pretty good. Um, I'll have to check. See if I can find a fresh one sometime. Do a, do a revisit on it. See if it's any different. But, uh, okay, but it's good. I like it. But real quick, um, two new subscribers. Um, one Combo A and Denver Pretentious Beer Vlog. Thank you both for subscribing. I appreciate it. Um, I'm, I'm going to end it there. And if you guys have tried it, um, let me know what you know what you thought of it. And I'll try to watch some reviews of it. I'm sure it's been reviewed many times. Okay, well, thanks for watching. I appreciate it, and we will see you all on the next one. Bye-bye. Right,